Okay, so when you kill him, I need you to do me a favor and I need you to jump. Do you see that animation he's doing when he jumps? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I never noticed that, honestly. That's fantastic, dude. <laughs> Oh, that Dude, man I gotta say, look, okay, that so there were a service. few years where Capcom really dropped the ball on a lot of games. Cough, cough, DMC, Devil May Cry. Mechanically, it was still sound. Shut up! Frenemies. Play! Hey, everybody, welcome back to Super Rocket Fisting Action. Rocket also, fisting. tentacle porn. Rocket Fist! <laughs> this is a rocket fist! Rocket fist! It doesn't pull me towards the tentacle uh, to a point where I can hit it at all. <laughs> Stupid tentacles. That's just where it connected, man. Just, just out of reach. You know what? Okay, so I did watch a lot of like early stuff on the game, right? Like, See, I didn't I, watch I tried anything. To... I saw maybe a trailer and then a review and then I bought it. Oh, <laughs> there is. Okay, so there is one thing that you were super worried about. You were like, nah, man, when I get like uh, S rank. A rank. He's like, I want the I want the announcer to scream it at me, right? And I remember watching one trailer where it was actually doing that, and I was like, Oh, no, we'll be they, happy about that. They but don't I never scream told you. it as hardcore as they did in DMC, right? But that Honestly, game was. I, I love the way they screamed "Savage" in that because every time yeah. you got it, it was so so satisfying. This one, like they they do it. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll get it. Maybe we'll get it. Getting an S rank with no abilities is kind of hard right now. Yeah. You kind of have to unlock your other move sets, but it's still possible if I really, really try hard. I like how everybody still has cheesy one-liners. Yeah, hey, man, it's one of the things the games are known yeah. for. That cheesy, cheesy one-liner. So you can charge it up. How does it work in this game? Though? Same way as it did in the last one. You charge it. And well, then... I remember you could charge it in the middle of your combos. Right? Like, there was a, a combo you could do that would actually charge it up fully as you were attacking. I'm sure there might be in this one. It's just it's one of those things you'd have to unlock it. <laughs> oh, damn it. You know, it, it gives you a, a Yeah, clue. I know. Well, I... I okay, two... Full disclosure, I was playing DMC in preparation for this one, and in that one you can air dodge. Right now, you can't. I think this. you might be able to unlock air dodge. You can unlock air hike, I know that much. So yeah, air that's, dodging might well, be Well, air hike is double jump. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there was an air dodge. None of the other ones had air dodge outside of DMC as far as I'm aware. Yeah. I, I still say the dodge mechanic in DMC is my, my favorite because it stops all animation, it's an instant dodge, and you can do it any time. You know what game has the absolute best dodge mechanic? God of War. I was or at least the original ones. I don't know about the new one. I haven't played it. I was going to say Bayonetta. Dude, when you perfect dodge, you go into slow motion, it's fucking BA, dude. It, it's like, it's one of those like... I don't know, you know, in most games I just try to go absolutely ham with the combos, but in Bayonetta, and it, it actually, like, rewards you for perfect dodging. Like, other games, like, have, like, a perfect block, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's always like, well, I take a little less damage if I perfect block, you know, or I could just fucking dodge roll, you know? So it, it doesn't really, like, reward me for trying to time it properly, but well, with Bayonetta... you can counter with a perfect block. Yeah, but it's like... Whatever. It's not as satisfying, I guess. Yeah, but it was... Uh, when Bayonetta, when you do a dodge at the right, perfect time, and everything slows down, and you can go absolutely ham on some enemies, that's just satisfying as shit, dude. Oh, how convenient that label is completely like worn off. <laughs> I know, right? Don't get used to it. Nico, I showed you those order docs. So you still owe me, remember? Be right there. Hooray! Hey. Wait, who is that in the other room? I don't know. I'll try to save you some. Not. <laughs> what a bitch. Whoa, you're so sassy. <laughs> I want to know where these guys get their coats. They always have the coolest you, uh, trench coats. You need something? I know, right? Like, who's their tailor? 
I must know this. Yeah. You hungry? Like, well, you're in luck, pal. Okay. Why doesn't my fucking uh, hot topic have closed like this week? Well, when's the last time you've been to Hot Topic? Actually, every time we go to the mall, we go. Fair Me and enough. my wife are like not really like goppy types or anything like that. They usually have some but uh, interesting stuff. Yeah, they Let's usually have way. some pretty decent. But uh, yeah, last. Like, we usually go, like, every time we go to the mall, we're like, you know, let's just go. I don't even know the last time we bought anything. Well, it's one of those Did you just rip like, off his arm? Yeah, man. It's his special arm. I thought it was, uh... I thought V said that one dude in that chair did it. I'm taking this back. Just wait for it, man. Wait. Just wait for it. <laughs> what? Wait, taking it back? Is that Virgil? Oh shit! I think it's Virgil. I'm running out of time. So you just cut time space to go wherever you want. As B A, dude, Virgil was always a fucking B A in these games, dude. He was a dick, but yeah, he was he was pretty badass. <laughs> so wait, okay, hold on. So I've. I kind of played all of the Devil May Cry games except for two. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you are, dude. You have, you have so, no idea how lucky you are. So I know in Devil May Cry 1, we fight the the Dark Knight, or whatever, the Black Knight, or whatever the hell he wants to be called. I can't remember. Um, And it turns out that he is Virgil. Yes. Right? Yes. Because Virgil is dead, and he got reincarnated as that. Oh, you got this rank. Damn yeah, straight, I did. Yeah. Right. yeah. I'm actually surprised I got an S rank for that. <laughs> okay, so in the first Devil May Cry, which is, I guess, technically the third in the, or the second in the timeline, we killed Virgil, right? Well, he was already dead. We Thanks, ended up killing him again, right? Oh, he got brought back by Mundus. Right. I want to say his name was. I no, want to no, say no. you're right. I know Mundus yeah. is in one of them. I can't remember which one. Yeah, I think that was the first one. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that. So yes. Mundus brought him back, right? And he had the others part of the pendant, which helped us unlock the super Sparta sword and all that stuff. Do we want this? Letter. It's been a good thirty years since I last wrote something like a letter. Don't have a typewriter or nothing, so unfortunately, you're stuck with my shitty handwriting for now. I heard you're holding back to or heading back to Red Grave. Wasn't sure exactly what I could do for you. I'm not a powerhouse like you, or the sharpest knife in the drawer. Still, given my business, the least I can do is get you a few leads. Can't say exactly how useful they'll be to you, but hey, gotta be better than nothing, right? So the last time I met Dante, he actually went by a different name, Tony Redgrave. But that got your attention, huh? Tony Redgrave? Redgrave City? Just a coincidence? Or something more? I honestly can't say. Still, figured if you're heading in that direction, you might be able to learn the truth yourself. That's why I've decided to let you to tell you everything about the Dante I know. It ain't every day that I get this stuff away, boy. You best be grateful. You told me that he once went under a fake name. That's not much to go on. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> like he, he says all this like he's giving me such valuable information. He once used a fake name. This is that name. <laughs> Sound like a thing? <laughs> totally a thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, Devil May Cry one. We killed. The, uh, we killed basically our brother who was already dead. Right. Uh, Devil May Cry two. I don't know what the fuck happened in Devil May Cry two. I'll just assume that he wasn't there. Devil May Cry three. He's the main uh, antagonist. Right. And we find out that that's actually where he died from. We fucking killed him because we're dicks. Well, he was a dick. He never gave us pizza to that party. Pizza. Yeah. Yeah, we never did make it to that party. No, no, no. That was the party. That was, there, was the party? there just wasn't any pizza. It was a pretty shitty party. We had a slice of pizza at the beginning, didn't we? We did, but we didn't get any at the party. I want more It pizza. was like a BYOP, bring your own pizza. <laughs> BYOP? Yeah. Yeah, I like pasta. Oh, you're going to love this. Oh, then. wasn't I talking about like spaghetti earlier? Yeah. Is that a fork? <laughs> <laughs> it's, the best, it's the best weapon in the game, man, obviously. I'm. S <laughs> it actually had the fucking uh, spaghetti spaghetti. Things. Uh, obviously, it would have to. It's it's for pasta. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It looks like a joke hand. It's for slapping your mama around. 
Kyrie will love it. Wow, what does it do? <laughs> you want to find out? Oh my. That's that's everybody's Hell favorite. Hell yeah. It's called Old Faithful. <laughs> I'm going to have that song stuck in my head. Thanks for that. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so we killed Virgil in three, which is the first in the timeline, right? And then we killed him in one, which is the second, right? So why was Virgil in four? Which one was four? Four. Was he in four? Four was with Nero. I don't think we, Virgil was in I four. I thought we find out that Nero is actually like the reincarnation of Virgil. I can't remember if he's the reincarnation. Because that's where, that's where his, um, I know his I, devil arm comes from. It's basically... It? Oh, wait. I think it might have been infused in him. Like a, like an experiment or something. Because I think the name of his arm is Yamato. And that's the same name of Virgil's sword. Yeah, because we get Virgil's sword near the end. I yeah, know that much. but it's like in a... in special edition, you can go through the whole game as Virgil. Yeah, right. But you know what? I think that might have been the past. Because people talk about that. There's a scene in there where uh, Virgil's walking down the street, and there's this chick in this red dress that takes a really long look at him, and they say that that's actually Nero's mother. So. Virgil might actually be his dad. Maybe. Yeah, so so Virgil, who's been fucking killed in like all these games by us, how does he keep fucking coming back? Well that's that's what he does. He did man. say he, just, he didn't he have much back. time, but it's like are we gonna be able to play as Virgil later? I don't know. I don't maybe think, maybe I don't not think in he's this, a playable, but like he'll probably be DLC. Eh. If anything, he'll be DLC. That's true because that's what the other games were. Like, what is it? Devil May Cry Three. Um, I think it was the special edition that allowed us to play as uh, Virgil. Was it? Yeah, yeah, and he had like his own move set. He got his own weapons and everything like that. I think you even started like halfway through the game. Really? Yeah, you, I I believe you started off in like this uh the ruins of the uh. A library or something like that. I don't oh. remember. I, it, it was. So, it's been so long since I played it. I never played as uh, Virgil for the because I'm pretty sure it was DLC and I just never cared enough. To well, no, it wasn't DLC back then because that well, was PlayStation Two. Yeah, it was uh, special, special edition. edition. Yeah, yeah. I need to catch up to me fast. So I mean, if any of you know like why Virgil is still around, definitely let me know. I mean, I guess I could look up a freaking Wikipedia page Reasons. or some such <laughs> shit, but. Still, I, w I would definitely like to know. Like, I know the Devil May Cry series is all like, <laughs> you play Devil May Cry for the story? It's like, no, I play Devil May Cry for the action, but... I play it for the story, man. <laughs> this is, uh, Nothing but the story. I watch it's porn good. for the story. Yeah. I, oh. And I read Playboy <laughs> for the articles. <laughs> Actually, we got funny. some good journalists. I was, uh, I was playing uh, Dragon Quest VIII, and we find... Uh, one, there's, like, this old guy in our party and he ends up dropping like this porno magazine and he's like no it's not it's not what you think i read it for the articles <laughs> and they're all just walking away ashamed of him and i was like that's funny <laughs> you know what's what's funny is there's actually people out there who do read it for the articles yeah uh, I, don't, I don't know what's so compelling in them but uh, apparently enough to keep them interested and keep them buying it so. <laughs> Assuming that anybody who uh, who reads a Playboy is like legitimately like everybody who buys Playboy is obviously reading it for the articles. Obviously, they're really well written. Have you read them? Have you, Dan? To be fair, have you? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I did. There was that one time. Yeah, I was uh, super bored. My well, my own personal first porno. Uh, it was actually uh, given to me by my parents. They, they bought me a Playboy. Aww. Yeah, they're super nice. Um, but yeah, they bought me a Playboy. And, uh, you know, I got bored a couple times, and I actually legit read some of the articles. I know one of the articles was about this movie called Cabin Fever and, like, the making behind it and everything. And, like, uh, how they did a bunch of, like, the visual effects for some of the gore and stuff like that. Huh. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously memorable enough that I still remember it. I, I mean, that was like fucking uh, 1999, so it's been like almost like 10, 20 years ago. God it's been damn, 20 I'm years. It's been 20 years since I last looked at that Playboy. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. God damn. 20 years. You're old, Dan. I am old. You are so old. I know. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm so old. Wait, I... Now I'm getting lost. Damn it. I remember it. back when <laughs> video games didn't have all these colors. <laughs> <laughs> back in my day! <laughs> Do you know what 8-bit is? Back in the day, that was the only amount of bits we knew! <laughs> We were lucky to have one color. <laughs> now y'all got them gigabit shit. Needing you your fancy HDRs. <laughs> Needing eight gigs of DDR4 RAM for your video graphics. What the hell's a teraflop? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what a teraflop is. But it hey, sounds hey, powerful. Right. You got another Mega Buster. Hey, hey, give me. So do you only get the Mega Buster yeah. if you pre-order? Or are they just uh, kind of like... Think, yeah, I think it's part of the DLC. Or not, not, not uh, pre-order. Oh, wait, how... Yeah, wait! How use this thing. There we go. There we go. Did Take that! Make, did Take it? that! Hold on. Okay. So, when you kill him, I need you to do me a favor, and I need you to jump. Do you see that animation he's doing when he jumps? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I never noticed that, That's honestly. fantastic, <laughs> Oh, that Dude, man I gotta say, look, okay, that so there were service. a few years where Capcom really dropped the ball on a lot of games. Cough, cough, DMC, yeah. Devil May Cry. Mechanically, and, it was still sound. Shut up! And also, <laughs> uh, Resident Evil uh, 5 and 6. Are there 5, games? yes. Uh, no, no, never mind. No. Yeah, they dropped the ball on both of those. Yeah. So, um, but I gotta say, man, what is it? Like, Resident Evil 7? Resident Evil Remake 2 no, just came Capcom out? Capcom is definitely on the upswing right now. He's still they, got the arm and guts in! <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, what is it? Um... <sighs> Mega Man 11? I, I haven't that played it. a while ago, though, didn't it? No, like like a couple months ago, or maybe like a year ago. Am I thinking of Mega Man... Which, you're, you're thinking of like Mega Man 10 or 9 it, or something like I'm that. I'm thinking of whichever one they came out with in like the 8-bit retro style. Yeah, that was um, that was 9 and 10. For okay. They came out on the Wii. Well, I had one of them on like PS3 or something. Yeah. But uh... Oh, no, Mega that. Man 11 just came out like a few months ago or something. And honestly, I think the only reason they made it is because of Mighty Number no. Nine. They saw everybody really wanted it, but like Mighty Number no. Nine didn't deliver. So I think like, Capcom's finally realizing like God. games will sell if people if they just give people what they want. Like that's what they did with DMC Five. That's what they did with Resident Evil Two. That's what they did with Mega Man whatever number it was. Yeah. Like they're finally giving in to like the demand of customers and it's working it really is like they've probably made a bunch of bank because of these last few games you know i mean yeah like they made a they did do a huge risk with what they did with resident evil 7 and it paid off i will say that right but like finally giving people uh resident evil 2 the remake they've been wanting since freaking rehd <laughs> 1 you know and then fucking giving us a real goddamn Devil May Cry. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is pretty to look at. I'm not gonna lie. It is really nice. Like I don't, I don't know. Remember the name of this engine, but it's a fantastic. Oh, the engine. the RE engine. Is that what it's called? Just the yeah. RE engine. We're like, we made Resident Evil with it. We will name our engine after it. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, they they built it for Resident Evil Seven, and I I guess it worked for what they needed. It's a great engine, man. Yeah. I know um, a lot of people complain about some of the, the graphical decisions they've had to make for some of their characters. But that's just, they're going for a more photorealistic approach. Everything's going to be taking that approach. Yeah. Like, mean, okay, so... Because that way it's it's transferable <laughs> across multiple, like, styles. Because you, yeah. you, can, you can downplay a realistic engine to a cartoony style or something like that. It's yeah. hard to upscale a cel-shaded style to something like this. You, right, right. Although I will say a, a game like uh, Wind Waker, Zelda Wind Waker, still holds up. That's the best. Like literally, of a what is it? Style, um, oh, uh, Zelda Wind Waker HD. All they did was give it a new lighting engine, and they're like, "Looks good." <laughs> That's basically all it was. It's like yeah. just add dynamic shadows. Think, We're good to go. <laughs> I think it was. Um, 
They were trying to build a new lighting engine for something. I want to say uh, they were trying to like create a new lighting engine for like uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. And they brought Toon Link into it because they didn't have a model of uh, Link yet. So I think they brought him in to run around and they were like, wow, he looks really good like this. And then I think they brought the new engine into Wind Waker, like the actual like lighting. And they were like, I can't believe how amazing this looks. I'm sorry, it's, it's did a, you it's just... It's like a bug going into like a demon vagina thing. You I was going to say it. that. It, this is like... Just accept it, The man. return of vagina bugs. Look at the shine on so that Mega Buster, what's man. What's with starring the DMC crew? I honestly don't know. I just hack my way through. Huh. I noticed that when I was uh, testing the game earlier. I was like, yeah, I don't know what any of that means, but I'll yeah. just roll with it. <laughs> he doesn't look like a demon. I mean, he's this guy who just came out of nowhere. You're not going to pick up that arm? Oh, uh, you can only oh, hold okay, three. I got you. You got to unlock more, I'm pretty sure. But right now, I only got three. I can, I can oh, blow right. up the the Mega Buster arm if you really want no, me to. No, no, you keep that, dude. <laughs> you see that fucking jump animation? <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Oh, was that the gun that did that? <laughs> nice. It's like the little things, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they should have gave him the, the sound that... Bloop, bloop. You know, that fucking jump noise. That would have been cool. Yeah. Oh, well. It's all right. Hey, man, I'll take what I can get. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they even gave him that jump animation, they really didn't need to do that, but they, they just went above. They really above did. and beyond. Yeah. Which is a good band, by the way. Or DJ, or however you want to look at it. They're good. <laughs> They're good. <laughs> it was like, eh. Ah, Take that mega buster to the face! Oh, dude, as you fight better, the music gets louder. <laughs> Finish them with a <laughs> mega buster. That's kind of cool. Like, uh, 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 what is it? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like situational music. Not situational. That's not the word I'm looking for. God damn. Contextual? Yeah, contextual music, right? There's not a lot of games that really do that too much. I know, um, like Mario games, they do that, but that that's a fucking Mario game. Like, of course, there's not much do that. voice acting. Really, contextual music is the best they can do. <laughs> oh, hello! Oh, come, come here! Me. Come here! Come here! Give me oh, a right. sweet, so, sweet better. As I was saying a while ago, um, so when I first started seeing stuff on this game, and I saw that he had like this mechanical arm, and it was like. You know, it would break after so much use. I was like, oh, but I loved his fucking devil arm where he could, like, grapple to enemies and shit. But seeing you actually grapple to enemies and whatnot and the fact that that doesn't break the arm, I was actually pretty happy about that. Like, they, they, they kept that mechanic in without, like, completely replacing it. Yeah. I was actually pretty happy about that. You I'm could not... actually, uh, you could actually, like, sacrifice arms, too. Like, if you get surrounded and stuff, you yeah. can make, basically make it self-destruct. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, dude, like, fucking, it'll, uh, it'll save you from taking damage man. and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, you don't have a meat hog hatchling. Yeah, whatever that is. Well, it's that fucking vagina parasite thing. Yeah. Vagina parasite? Uh, <laughs> is that what we're gonna call it from now on? What it was. Vagina parasite. You literally put it in the fucking tree vagina. Hey, and man, don't be knocking the tree it, vagina. It, uh, it gave it the clap. <laughs> Look at that. That's the clap right there. That clap ass <laughs> penis. <laughs> that doesn't help at all. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> There's literally just a bunch of crazy STDs going on around here. <laughs> I like how it brought the camera behind the fucking wall and you can still see. I'm actually glad that they did that. So it's like, okay, we know the camera will get really fucked up sometimes. We're not going to let it impede your vision. It's a good thing. No, the, it the is. The camera will still get jacked up. Uh, when I was playing well, the that's game just earlier, there, there was a point where I was fighting a boss and I was trying to roam around the... Because it was a big environment. And I was trying to look around to find like a thing with health. And I just, it just wanted to keep focusing the boss. I'm like, no, <laughs> I want to look around. I need to look around. Oh, does the combat still have the, the, uh, uh what is it? Like, so you're fighting and you'll attack, attack, pause. Yeah. Attack, 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 attack. Oh, yeah. sweet. You got to okay, unlock cool. all those combos. I unlocked like three of them earlier, but 
Yeah. yeah. For a while, you only get like the standard. Now, I'm actually really glad that they they kept a lot of what makes Devil May Cry in here because I I heard the the combat in this game is just literally like the best it's ever been. They like I I read some reviews. They're like, okay, the story gets a little takes a little bit of a backseat, whatever. They said some of the middle areas in the game can look a little bland, but they said, but seriously, all the fights from here to there are just so goddamn good. It's Devil May Cry, man. That's and they said it all, for. and they said, like, there's so many uh, mechanics to the game, to, to combat, and they said it's all just so, it all just makes sense as you play it, right? You Like, when you write it out on paper, it's like, oh, that sounds really fucking complicated. But they're like, no, dude, it was so intuitive. Like, there was no issue trying to pull any of it off. Mm, seems like it's oh, stuck okay. there. Yeah. Uh, oh, secret missions. So now this is actually a pretty cool concept. Oh. You basically gotta stand in the right place and it completes the picture. Oh, nice! You gonna, you gonna do the secret mission? Oh, hell yeah. We'll, we'll, nice. we'll do the secret mission real quick and then, uh... I can, there we go. Should we do the secret mission on the next episode? Nope, too late. We're balls deep. You're like, oh no! <laughs> it's too late! <laughs> We're balls deep. We're already in it to win it. That's unnerving. Yes. That's some there goes. shit. Right. Eliminate all the demons. Oh, you only have like a minute and a half. It might not be that difficult. I know I know some of the early missions in any Devil May Cry game isn't too difficult. I know it's like later ones like fucking stay in the air for like a minute and a half. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Because it, it involves you like air hiking off enemies and like grappling to them and all kinds of shit. And, oh, it can it can become a thing. It can definitely become a thing. Definitely a thing. Oh, that's the one that like healed it, isn't it? Okay, you got it. I remember, what was it, that cinematic where it just came over and it just like quaffed all over a fucking enemy and it was like, you <laughs> No, you've destroyed my combo. Aww. I hate you. What were you up to? A. Aww. Getting an S early game for me is difficult. Well, yeah, you don't have access to a lot of moves. And, and I know that like there's diminishing returns on moves. Yeah. Right? So like the more you use them, the less style points you'll get. Does it the more you use the list you'll get? Because that's totally what I meant. I hope I said that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what you said, yeah, but you questioned okay. it. It made me yeah. do a double take. I honestly don't remember. I'm going, Blue that's, that's what fragment. you said. I don't know. Fair point. I, I believe in you. Cleared! Hooray! What's going to happen on the rest of the episode? Or what's going to happen on the next episode? On the Yeah, there you yeah. go. Good job. Good job. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Dan. Yeah. Super proud of you. Just, you did just, it. Gaze at the mega You know what's a great fucking song in any video game ever? What's that? Uh, fucking Storm Eagle, Storm Eagle's stage in a uh, Mega Man X. I can't remember that one. <laughs> Dude, it's great. I th uh, what is it? Uh, fucking, I had this uh, Guitar Hero game. I think it was called like Guitar Hero World or something. And uh, they had it so you could like make your own songs. Yeah. And uh, somebody actually made the fucking Storm Eagle song with it, and I was just like, "Haha, this is fucking great!" And I played it all the time. It was great. Huh. I'll tell you this much though: you don't do that song justice. <laughs> <laughs>